This is Ben. Play guitar for Blackstone Cherry. You're watching AllAccess.com. We're gonna go through my guitars over here. Number one. This is my main Les Paul. I start the show with every night. It's just a Les Paul classic. Um, my favorite model of Les Paul. Um, it's a chamber guitar, so it's a little lighter, so it doesn't hurt your back as bad, especially if you're holding it for a long time. Stock pickups, I think it's the 496 and 500. Um, they're pretty high output. This is that's kind of the what, way I like my sound. And then, uh, as you can see, I got my Elvis on the front here, mm -hmm. and my slew of stickers on the back. It's kind of my sticker guitar, I guess. Then um, next up, we have a PRS, which is one of their SC 245s. And this is really cool because uh, a buddy of mine uh, had this idea and he did this work for me. Um, this guitar was solid black, uh, shiny black, and we sanded it down and we put a coat of red on it, sanded it down, coat of blue, sanded it silver, black, etc., gold, and we just kept sanding it down, uh, my buddy did, until it came out and looks like this. So it's like a complete kind of a one-of-a-kind deal and every time I bring it out on stage I get a lot of odd looks you're like what is that I've never seen a paint job like that but I really just wanted something totally psychedelic and bizarre and that's why I love this one and, uh, next step we got another Les Paul as that is my main guitar of choice this is my first ever Les Paul I've ever had um, I bought this in like 2003 I think maybe um, it's also a Les Paul Classic. Um, it's not chambered, so it's a lot heavier, which we'll record all the albums with. And it's my favorite Les Paul. And it's got all kind of buckle rash, which I love, you know. Because I don't, I never buy guitars to plan on selling them, so if I hurt them, I really don't care as long as I still play, you know. And then uh, lastly, I have another Les Paul Studio that I call Elvis, obviously, for, for obvious reasons. And this one's tuned down to B. In fact, the, uh, the neck pickup isn't even working on this. It just goes to the bridge pickup. That's the, it's just a rock heavy guitar. EMG pickups, it's got Elvis on the back here too. Um, but yeah, love this guitar. When I first got it, it was bright, shiny Alpine white. I've had it for a while and it's been stained and now it's kind of this creamy off-white color, but I love this one. I wish we could bring all the guitars over here, um, but really we don't need them. This is, a, you know, four guitars does plenty, and we've got a couple acoustics that we uh, use from Gibson as loaners over here. This is when I use SJ200. It's beautiful. It sounds great. And uh, yeah, simple guitar stuff. It's Jonesy, our guitar tech. He's got a pretty interesting fellow. And then my pedal board, which looks pretty complex, but honest to God, uh, I don't even know how it's all hooked up. If, if it broke right now, I wouldn't know what to do. But channel switcher, uh, you just go from lead to clean is all I use on it. I don't even know what that's all about. This is a Boss Octave pedal, uh, MXR Blue Balls, which is kind of like a fuzzy octave, um, Phase 90, Proto Vibe. One of the original Buddha wah pedals that uh, and Buddha was owned independently. Uh, one of the guys that uh, ran the company gave that to me, and I've had it ever since. I, I love it. This is a micro amp. It's kind of like a boost. I use it for clean stuff, or if I need just a lot of extra, uh, you know, a little bit extra overdrive. Um, tremolo pedal, which I use for shooting star, long sleeves, which we don't do in the set anymore for some reason. And then the talk box, used for white trash millionaire. And I've got an octave pedal that's always on for the top box, so anytime that's clicked on, uh, the top box is given signal. And that's a cool top box too because it allows me to have the signal from the microphone, also from my guitar. So um, we had the Dunlop top box, and all it would allow me to do uh, at first, unless we didn't want to have to hook up a small amp, was just do the, uh, the top box signal. But this one allows me to run both at the same time, or I can just click a button and choose just to do that one. So it's pretty cool. Rocktron makes that. So they hooked us up with it. Pretty simple. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not that gear inclined. I just know what sounds that I dig. And 
you know. And then we got the amp heads back here. Um, these are the PV3120s, which is kind of like a triple X. In America, I use the triple X2. Um, these used to be Chris's actually, because I was using the 6505s over here. Um, and then when Chris switched over to Buddha, which is also owned by PV, I just took these because these really, really sound good. Um, you know, they sound good live. So, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Sennheiser wireless unit, Furman power conditioner. And then I think around back, we've got a noise suppressor on mine because it's extremely loud and feeds back all the time. And then a, uh, a DI, a Palmer DI for the guitar. So we don't use any microphones on the guitar cabinets. It's all straight, straight from the head signal. So. Pretty simple, I guess. It looks like a lot, but it's pretty, pretty complex. Or it's not complex, rather, I should say. Yeah, and that's it.